we've defined it. We've defined it. Let's yeah. let's move on to Dana. Oh no, she just actually went on the phone. Um, I have somebody who has a question for me. Uh, John, you are honest. As you said that we have similar stories, but you're still a Christian. Yes, ma'am. Hi. Uh, Hi. I just want to say, I, I called a couple weeks ago uh, as Gohan, but now I'm calling as John Mike. So I wanted to let you know my name's not actually John. Okay. That's okay. Is, do you want me to call you John or do you want me to call you something else? Uh, whatever you guys feel like, as long as it's respectful. I just wanted uh, to not use my name and That's not fine. use the same name because I'm talking about a different topic. So call you John or not John? Sure. Uh, John, just make okay. it easy. All righty, <laughs> okay, cool. Sorry about that. It's okay. But you're on with Don and Eric and me. Hi, guys. Uh, so I just um, wanted to... Uh, I've heard your story for a while now, Jenna. Mm -hmm. um, first time I heard it, I was kind of shocked because it sounds so similar to mine. Um, and I actually uh, also wanted to say before I get into it, I called um, Recovering from Religion, um, I'd say about a month and a half ago. I just want to say the guy I spoke to was extremely nice. Uh, that's good to hear. Just for yeah. anyone else who, uh, very helpful. I, I wasn't the right kind of caller for that. Uh, yeah. I was looking more for a discussion, and he was very nice about trying to point me where to go and stuff like that. Yeah, that's awesome. RFR is not a, for, like a, a forum for debates at all. It's just for folks yeah, who are yeah. doubting or struggling. Don't call our show for that. Yeah, yeah. But that's still, what they or talk even or <laughs> any of the. But still, I've never heard anybody yeah, have but, a bad experience. Yeah, ever. The, um, I'll tell you, John. The one thing that we do struggle with is um, uh, we need volunteers. We we are really really low on volunteers. I'm really glad that someone was able to answer your call um, because of the lack of volunteers. We don't always aren't always able to get to them. Um, but uh, the, the, the more people we can have help out uh, the more folks we can uh, t uh, talk with so yeah. and they can find the locations from on the, the website uh, so we can find out who can yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's all uh, recovering from religion.org slash volunteer awesome I'm sure that'll pop up somewhere uh, down the there sorry John back to from you the discussion I sorry uh, from the discussion I had uh, with the volunteer it sounds like your guys' problems uh, more of uh, quantity, not really quality, because that guy was really good. Yeah, awesome. uh, yeah. Thank uh, you. Was, Thank you very much for that. Yeah. So, uh, so um, uh, about probably seven, eight years ago now, uh, my grandma died, and I was oh. talking with my brother, um, and uh, he, I was finding out like slowly he didn't really believe, and I was still like a diehard Christian, and he was like. <laughs> Tell me why you believe and you can't use something other than faith. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't respond with, I just have faith. And I had no idea what to do. So, uh, I mean, a little bit after that, he kind of suggested to me to go watch some, like, try to learn some stuff from the internet. So I went to go watch debates on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of like you, but I just kind of had the complete opposite experience. And Interesting. That's kind of what I called in for uh, with recovering from religion, because I'm not sure why I had an opposite experience. And it, I was looking at... Uh, so how do you mean opposite experience? experience? Or, or what, can, uh, what convinced like it you? Seemed to, it seemed more to solidify my belief. Okay. And from what the comments I read in YouTube, it kind of did that for everybody. Like, uh, all the atheists seemed to be more convinced and all the Christians seemed more convinced. How many, how many debates debate. did you watch? I watched a lot. So the fir the first one I watched was uh, Doctor Frank Turk against Christopher Hitchens, and there was okay. two of those. And then slowly I went on to watch uh, who's my favorite apologist is uh, John Lennox, and he's done. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm a little John. Nervous, so. <laughs> you took his like, name, John. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I totally didn't um, even catch that. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. But, it's, um, it's great. He went to go. He he's done. Um, so many debates against. He's done two with Christopher Hitchens, two with Richard Dawkins, Peter, two with Peter Atkins, one with Peter Singer. Okay. Uh, so I've kind of started with that and eventually grown to listening to podcasts like Crash, uh, Capturing Christianity and trying to make sure I get as much as the opposite side as I can. Mm, like, that's uh, awesome that you're so open. Yeah, we think that's very healthy. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I feel like I've given a lot of shout outs to a lot of Christian ones, so I feel like I should do it the opposite with. Uh, 
atheist nomads. No, we can, well, this, like let's, just, let's just move yeah. on. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so, okay, so I'm basically, not to promote Christianity. That's we, we've got say, no. Sorry. It's not that we just have a lot of other callers waiting on the line. Right. Um, so can you okay. can you just yeah. kind of can you tell us why you believe in a God or did you have something specific yeah. that you wanted yeah. to tell us that you've experienced or? Yeah, so my, my main question was, I, I don't understand why we had, like, different results, but I do, I'm fine going into why I believe. I would say uh, before I started watching debates, it was just faith. After I started researching, uh, I went to college for medicine. Uh, so after I did that and watching debates, I would say I be, I'm a theist first because of science and reason, and then I'm a Christian because of history and personal experience. Okay, but can you can you try to summarize like why you believe in a God? Because you're telling us like like um, your your history, right? Yeah, now. we we don't know how necessarily. Well, I guess okay. we do kind of know how how you got there. But when you're watching these debates, yeah. and you, and you said it's solidifying. What what convinced you? What is it about it that uh, that's, that you're like, oh, that's that's enough evidence for me. That's enough proof. What I would is say that? A lot more of when, when I first started, I would say a lot more physics really helped. So you think that God can be proven how, using the laws of physics? I mean, maybe not proven. I would, as John Lennox says, the only thing that can be proven is math and reason. But I would say very strong evidence. Why? <laughs> um, well, it. If I'm starting with physics, uh, I would have to start, obviously, with the Big Bang. I've heard your guys' response to that. It just hasn't convinced me uh, that... That the Big Bang well, happened? A, no, no, no. That a... Well, I, I've heard a couple of responses that the Big Bang, we don't technically know if that was the beginning, so we can't technically know if the universe ever began. Well, we but, also don't uh, technically know anything. Well, I, see, and I, I would disagree with that. So, so you find okay. the, the first cause argument compelling is what I'm hearing? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. You want to take that? Well, um, y you know, we've we've talked about the Colum cosmological argument to death. And, right. Um, right. You know, uh, we, we, we can poke holes in it, but but I think that there is a desire to want to um, understand what happened there, right? Mm. And um, Right, I think on both sides, yes, sir. So, um, you know, we, we, you know, it's a big, it's a big event and it's interesting and it, demand, and it demands a lot of, uh, you know, it asks a lot of questions of us. Uh, it right. forces us to, to really take a look. Uh, I personally don't see any evidence of a God there, Um so uh, maybe um, I, I would say the evidence isn't exactly for a God, but I would say it's against the idea of naturalism. But so, so I don't want to talk about what it's against. Like we're, we really want to know what evidence do you have for any God? Like why do you believe it? What, what is okay, it yeah, that so makes you say, I know that there's a God out there? It's not, first off, it's not no. I would say I'm more of like 80% sure, okay. I'm not 100%. Okay. And I've watched a lot of Anthony Magnavosco's videos, so I'm, I'm trying to gauge what my confidence level is. I would say probably about 80%. Um, I would say, and it's not one thing only, I would say it's a collection of things, but right. the biggest thing that earlier, it was physics. Now it's the laws of reason um, mm. and consciousness that points me to God. That's the strongest one, but it's still, a, it, if, if I was to become an atheist tomorrow, the biggest thing you could do is tell me that my uh, the reason that I have reason is wrong. Like, um, take away consciousness, take away free will. Then, if you can make me doubt my reasoning, that would make me yeah. a big. That give me a big chance to be an atheist. You no, know, it, it 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 sounds God, God used in this concept uh, context often is kind of a placeholder for I don't know yeah. and. Um, it, it it begs a lot of questions of where did this God come from? How did it, what powers does it have? What can it do? Um, and there's just nothing to grab onto there. You know, when I, I... I would say well, that might be right until you get into history. When I started looking into all this stuff, like you said that you kind of experienced some yep. of like my journey and I just wanted to know all the answers to things because I found out there's a lot of stuff that I'd never heard of before and I just wanted to know the answers to things very similar to you. So... 
th what had happened was I was watching all these debates and there are all these different arguments and they're, they're the same arguments over and over and over again. And they always come to this stopping point where it ends up saying, okay, now what? And then they say, and then God. Right. And we say, and then I don't know. And that's the difference is every argument that I've ever heard for God has a stopping point where we say, I don't know. Yeah, yeah you, and I, I would disagree with that. And if you want a quick example, I could give one. Sure. Yeah, well, you've actually given two examples already. The first is, yeah. we don't know what happened before the Big Bang. The second is, we don't know how conscious arose. And I would strongly suspect that there might be a third, we don't know how life came mm -hmm. to be. And so for uh, each, life, each actually, one of sorry. those were the three examples, or the two you gave, and I added one that I suspected. But, but you put in, therefore, God... Um, to explain those two things. Uh, and whereas um, Don, Jen, and I would say, we don't know yet, but uh, I suspect that we will eventually know, and it will not be in right. God. There's a lot of people studying to trying to find these answers to things right now, but yeah. it's, we, we don't know yet. So, and they're not using so prayer not, or the Bible. Right. No, it's, it's not that uh, we've done so much research, we don't have an answer there for God is that we have so much research, we have answers that point to God. Does that I make sense? I disagree. I mean, I don't, what is it? Yeah. Right. So, like, like the, so hold on, hold on. So we've, yeah. I've asked you like four <laughs> different times now, what is your evidence? And we've gone into these little stories about some of your experiences and it's really oh cool God. stuff, but, but this is the fourth time. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. You've been really awesome, and I love how open you are. But I, I think that we're, we're kind of done here because, because I don't think that you have it yet. But keep looking, and, and I love that you're, you're still asking questions. You know, yeah. I think that you're going, doing the right thing. Yeah. And our problem isn't with people like you. Our problem is with people who refuse to try to understand our side. So Yeah, yeah and I, I would go with that also. Like, there, there's people on both sides who I've noticed even on the Christian side and the atheist side, who do just kind of try to stick their feet in the ground and not try to change one way or the other. But, right. Um, and I, I do have answers, but uh, for some of the things you're asking, I haven't really gotten to them. I know this is a short short show. Yeah. Uh, so I, I understand that. I know you've asked a couple of times. That's just hard for me to... No, it's okay. Stop. I understand. I, I was asked that question, too, and I couldn't come up with an answer. And after being asked it enough times, which is different for everyone, I finally realized I don't think I'm going to get an answer. But that was me that had no, to no, discover I, that I for myself. Yeah. Uh, I do have an answer. Okay. Um, we'll talk about that next time you call. Yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you, John. Thank you so much for calling, John. Is there a limit for the amount of times to call? I'm sorry, I don't know. Oh, I've no. A couple no. Times already. Nah. Well, been, okay. Some people were out there welcome. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you start to if you start calling every single week and we have this exact same conversation right. every week, well then, I mean, obviously. And if it gets tired. Yeah, yeah but you're you're it. awesome. You go ahead and call back and we'll we'll help you through this journey and see where you actually end up. And there's a Discord channel, right? Okay. There's a Discord channel. We're actually going to stay yeah. on after the call, after the show. We started doing this lately where we stay on after the show and we answer questions personally over the air for uh, Discord. So if you would download the Discord app and try to get on our server, then we can continue the conversations. And there's a lot of people there that want to help. Yeah, you may be able to continue this conversation, okay. kind yeah. of suss things out uh, on the Discord as well. And Facebook. Um, oh, that's oh, great, because yeah. I, I was going to ask you guys how do I do the Discord, but now I know, so thank you. Perfect. Yeah, and then there's um, also, uh, follow the Facebook group. There's several groups where there's people having these uh, philosophical conversations. <laughs> and yeah. Cool. I think okay. it's under I, I, Atheist I, I, Community of Austin. But, yes. Right. Um, John. And, while you guys are at it, keep, keep watching the debates. I, I, personally, mine is, my favorite is John Lennox. Watch his debates. I'll watch, keep watching Richard Dawkins. Uh, he's actually stopped for a little bit, but I'll keep watching other debates as well. All right. So thank you so much for calling, John. Thanks, John. Bye.